Here we are preparing to crop this hive by the shaking and brushing method. I have my assistant Webster to help with this job. We gently smoke the entrance, remove the lid, then the inner cover. You can see how the bees have really glued this cover onto the super with propolis. Gently smoke over the top of the super. Leave her out of frame which is fully capped and full of beautiful honey. Full and beautiful. As the top super is completely full, it means we have lost honey because the bees have no more space to store honey. It is important therefore to give bees enough space to process and store honey. We brush off the bees at the entrance of the hive. We repeat this with all frames. Bees shaken onto a board readily walk back into the hive. We gently remove the empty super and repeat the process with the next one. Here you can see that the bees even stored honey in the burr comb between frames, clearly showing that they needed more space for honey storage. Now here is something interesting. We are coming across what looks like the center of the brood nest. And even though this hive has a queen excluder, it is the flat zinc type which is not very good. The queen has got through the excluder and is now laying up in the supers. The next frame I'm looking at is full of brood, so we will stop the cropping of this hive right here and fill up the empty spaces with empty frames and move on to the next hive. We close up the hive in the normal way, giving them empty supers, or if it is late in the season, we can reduce the size of the hive. Here is another method of cropping honey from a Langstroth hive. Right, this little apparatus here is called a Porter Bee Escape, and it is used when we crop honey using the clearing board. The clearing board is made up of either one of these or you can put two or three or half a dozen. It is basically a one-way valve or trap for bees and the bees can come in one way but they cannot then return back into the super. So this porter bee escape and the clearing board is put between the full supers of honey which are on top and the remainder of the hive which is underneath. So the bees leave the super and go down into the main body of the hive and they cannot return back into where the honey is. 48 hours ago when I inserted the clearing board I placed all capped honey in these two supers above the clearing board. And normally supers one or two or three would be cleared in 24 or 48 hours. 48 hours probably a bit better than 24 and certainly it's a very simple way of clearing supers of bees and for the beginner who is perhaps a little apprehensive about handling and clearing bees with a brush, this is a very simple way of cropping honey. There we have the clearing board in place. This is how the bee escape works. It is made up of the two halves. This half contains two tiny little springs which you adjust to allow the bees to come through that hole into the bee escape and then they will walk through 
where the soft springs are. But they cannot then return this way because the springs are closed. Full of bees. After cropping, we remove the clearing board, add another super if necessary, and close up the hive with a normal inner cover and lid. into correct spacing. That's fine. So we'll go back on. These are the supers without bees and full of beautifully filled and capped frames. <laughs>